I'm going to be replacing transmission mount right there. That's the part number and from what I can tell that's the OEM part. That's the manufacturer and looks good to me. We'll have to see how it compares to the old one when I get them side by side. I printed some stuff off the Wiz, mainly the Newton meters and what they're set at. I think step one is to remove these 17 millimeters. There's four of them. I got this up. I got my big jack holding a little pressure on the transmission pan. There's the cross member. These are the two 17 bolts on each side. There's two 13 millimeters that holds the underside of the mount on. And then there's two and that mounts it the other way. Okay, I'm loosening up these 17 millimeters. Okay, these 17 millimeters, they weren't on there that tight. I got them finger loose now. I don't really see any reason to take that off. I got the weight up on there. So now I'm going to remove these two 13 millimeters underneath. On the back there's one there and there's one there. Okay, I decided to remove this cross member. Okay, I'm gonna now remove the two 16 millimeters. I got them hand loose now. There. Oh, they got lots of uh, blue Loctite on there. It's real chalky. All right, I want to get this on the bench and compare it to the new part. Okay, I'm going to have to reuse these. I want to put them on the wire, clean them up, and then reassemble them with blue Loctite. But there's just not much rubber left on there if I compare it to this one. I mean, I can see a lot of daylight through the old part. And the new one seems tight. And on this side, I can see a 98. So that's the year the car was built. So I'm sure this is original. I got these cleaned up on the wire wheel. Then I cleaned them up with lacquer thinner. I just punch a hole in a box and stick them in so I can move them around and paint them from all angles and it protects the threads. So I'm using Rust-Oleum. This is a, a black primer. All right, I'm using Rust-Oleum Gloss Black Enamel. This stuff's really durable. It dries slow, but as long as I got the cross member off, I'm going to go in here with Zep Degreaser and get all this grime off of everything that I can reach and have a good look at my flex disc. Okay, I got everything degreased and cleaned up. Okay, here's the new part. I got blue Loctite on there and I'm gonna install this next. Okay, I got the mount on. I've got uh, blue Loctite on both of these 16 millimeters. These get torqued down the 40 newton meters, but I'm just going to tighten them up and not torque them down until I get the two 13s underneath. And there might be a problem with alignment. There, got those tight. All right. Well, now I'm ready to put the cross member on. Getting the cross member started by hand. I'll get all those going. The cross member is oblonged, so you can move it back and forth to make clearance to get these started. Like that back one right there, that's off. Uh, the front one I can get started. Do that first. Like 
that. And I might have to use a pry bar. Nope, I got it. Yeah, this is really easy. I mean, it took longer to jack the car up than it did to replace this. I get these two 13s on tight, but not torque them until I torque the 16s on the back first. Okay, that's tight. Now it's tight. Okay, now I want to torque the two uh, 16s on the back. Okay, I got my torque wrench set to 40 newton meters. And I'm going to tighten down these two 16 millimeters. Then the two 13 millimeters, these get torqued down to 25. All right. Well, now I'm gonna lower the jack and get the weight on the cross members and then torque these down to 40 newton meters. Okay, now I'm gonna torque down the four uh, 17 millimeters. These get torqued down to 40 newton meters. Okay. Well, that's it. Get everything torqued down, I got the weight off. And that should be good.